Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Bobby and this is Bobby Reads Tarot. And today you guys are getting a bonus episode. Um, how awesome is that? We have this new moon coming up uh, tomorrow, October 2nd, 2024. Um, it is also a solar eclipse. There is some really weird energy, you guys. We've got the vice presidential debate tonight. We have this conflict going on in Israel between Israel and Hezbollah and Lebanon. And now it looks like Iran might be getting into the mix. I'm filming this um, at 835 Pacific, actually Arizona, Mountain Standard Time, um, on October 1st, 2024. And I just kind of want to get a feel for what we can expect for this new moon slash solar eclipse. What energy are we getting? Because you guys, this is intense and it's kind of, it's kind of a stressful time. So let's just see what we have going on. Okay. So we have the six of cups reversed. Six of cups reversed talks about romanticizing the past. I think we might be looking back into when times were better. Okay. When there was like less conflict, when the economy was better, when politics wasn't so polarizing, when the world was a lot more peaceful. I think that a lot of us are kind of looking back on that that time where I was like, man, I wish that we could go back to that time, okay? Uh, then we have this Queen of Cups energy. So this is typically a um, feminine energy. It can be someone who's empathetic, someone who's an empath. I feel like this is female leadership coming in. Um, I want to keep going to see though where where this leads because I have a feeling I know what this is, but let's just keep going. So we have this hermit energy um, and the hermit, this talks about a, a need for solitude and a need for wisdom. And one of the things that we have been seeing here is we've been seeing a huge shift in humanity gaining knowledge and awakening basically. Um, seeing things as they really are and not necessarily how we're programmed to see things. So seeing beyond the stories that were shown in the media um, and in the news and like really figuring things out for ourselves and not just on a surface level, but on like a deep, deep level. We're coming out of that. We're heading towards this time of awakening. So I do think that this is going to play out a bit differently than conflicts and, and things in the past. I feel like um, we're coming at this from perhaps a different viewpoint where we have a larger percentage of people that are starting to wake up. Doesn't mean everyone's awake, but it means we're really, really heading towards this, um, this idea of waking up. Okay. Okay. Um, so then we have the, um, excuse me, the Eight of Swords reversed. So Eight of Swords reversed. This is about feeling restricted and trapped in constraints. So the energy of this new moon is going to leave us feeling very constrained, very trapped. So there could be some, some big events that happen over this next few days that can lead to those feelings of of just being, you know, feeling restricted. Um, it could be, we could find something happens where our, we're not able to go, go out, um, you know, think of like COVID or there, you know, um, there, I don't remember where it was now, but yesterday there was a big, it was in Illinois. There was a big fire at some plant and there was chlorine in the air and they were telling all the people like shelter in place, turn off your AC, close your windows, that kind of stuff where there's like imminent threats. And so people have to kind of um, watch out, stay put. We might see an uptick in that. Um, there's also everything that's going on right now in um the hurricane area. So we've got, you know, from Florida all the way to like up to North Carolina, all of those people that are uh, last count I saw was 130 people that had unfortunately lost their lives. That is so terrible. And there are people who are essentially like cut off all of their roads and ways into their towns have been like washed away. And so they're having to bring things, supplies in by helicopter. So people right now all over the world 
are going to be feeling a sense of restraint being restrained or trapped. We're seeing it in Gaza. Those people are feeling that way. Um, we're just all over the world. We're starting to see this. Uh, we have issues going on with Ukraine. So, and, and I, I just feel like in the next couple of days, the next 48 hours, we're really going to see just like an uptick of that. Okay. Then we have the Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups is, um, Knight of Cups is a dreamer. You know, Knight of Cups wants to come in and, and bring an offer of of something something hopeful, love. So I think people might be, you know, really hoping that we can come together and we can unite through these difficult times because historically that has happened, but I don't feel like that's what's going to happen this time, but I feel like people are still wanting that. So when Hurricane Katrina happened, um, and there was, you know, there was a lot of support that was really mismanaged by FEMA, but there were like people coming together and raising money and going and doing, you know, all kinds of outreach and coming together. I feel like we're going to see people want to see that again right now. That's what people are hoping to see. And then we have the nine of swords reverse, but that is not what people are going to get. What they're going to get is... It, this is like nine of nine of swords reversed is like feeling haunted anxiety. It's like anxiety to the nth degree. It's all of your fears that are playing out in front of you. It's like being haunted. I think we're going to see some really tough. I mean, we already are, but I think the next 48 hours, it's going to be, we're going to see uh, an uptick in that. Okay, then we have the Three of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles is this um, idea of collaboration. It's, it's working together for a common good, okay? It can, be showing, it can be showing off like talents and things like that. It can be endorsements, but it's also collaboration, cooperation, working together. And I do feel like there are people who are wanting to help out and work together. So I do think, again, you know, that's that's this energy of where people are wanting to go. They're wanting things to be this, um, this idea of cooperation and collaboration. We have the Queen of Pentacles next. The Queen of Pentacles is, um, again, it's this female energy. It's a female who is very uh, stable, who is very generous, who is very noble. Um, and this placement is representing the environment that we're in. So there's some type of feminine energy. Now, one of the things that just popped into my mind is, okay, because I was thinking like, is this going to be Kamala, right? Stepping forward and leading. It could be. But the other thing I'm wondering is if countries have feminine and neg uh, not feminine and negative uh, feminine and masculine um aspects this could be a feminine type country i know that sounds really weird but just roll with me here so if this isn't representing a woman then this is representing a nation that is stepping up and leading during this tough time i do not feel like this is the us though I could see it being like, I don't know, like France. I could see it, uh, Germany, possibly UK. I don't know. All right. Then we have the page of pentacles reversed. Um, so the page of pentacles reversed is unwelcome news. Um, and it's unwelcome news in, in relation to money. So... Uh, there could be a fear of people losing money. We might also see the stock market do some weird stuff over the next, you know, two days while we have this energy. Actually, and I want to extend that because it could really be like 72 hours because we've got, I mean, from the 1st to the 3rd of October is kind of like the energy that we're looking at. But we could see we could see the stock market do something. We could see a bank take a hit. There's some something where um, the finances are going to be rocked a little bit. So whatever that l looks like, um, but there's some there's something is going to take a hit on finances, whether it's a country or it's a business. 
Um, yeah, but there's, there's something that's going to happen. Okay, and then we have the um, Two of Wands reversed. Two of Wands reversed is about making decisions in haste, rushing decisions, not, not making a well thought out plan, but instead just making decisions really quickly by the seat of your pants and it doesn't end well. So we might see some decisions made over the next three days that impact us going forward that are, were not good decisions. Okay. Decisions that are just, they're going to be made in this, this new moon energy is this, and this solar eclipse energy is this very dark energy. So there's things that are going to be hidden that people are not going to be able to see. And that is where we're, we're going to get hung up. That is where we're going to have some trouble. Okay. Um, I want to build this out a little bit more. So we're going to add on to this. These cards that we're using here, these are some cards that I made myself, so you can't get these anywhere because they're my own. Okay, so we have North Korea. We have financial institution. Okay, so remember we were talking about those, the suit of pentacles. Okay, so we might see North Korea um, get into the action a little bit, maybe do some saber rattling or, you know, just um, want to kind of get into the mix a little bit. I think it's not a good time because of what's going on with Iran and Israel, but, um, I think that that's kind of the MO of, of Kim Jong-un where he's, you know, doesn't mind. He doesn't mind, you know, making comments and stepping in when things are a little bit, we have doctor. Okay. Doctor. I wonder if that is referring to, well, let's just keep going. So we have doctor. Iran. And we're going to get one more. And male rapper. Okay, P. Diddy, you guys. I wonder if something's going to happen with P. Diddy over the next few days. So let's keep going. Let's look at this Iran energy, shall we? Let's see what's going on with Iran. So we are going to use these whispers of the unsolved and see what we can get for Iran. That was a terrible shuffle, you guys. Okay, what are we going to get for Iran? Party celebration. Hmm, interesting. Pattern repetition. Hidden network. Oh, you guys, I'm, I'm getting kind of a download. Let's see. Let's just see where this goes, but I think I know where this is going. Okay. Success. We're going to just get a few more cards to finish building this out. God, higher power. Science experiment. I think that that's collapsed behind it. And let's do one more. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have here. So I am wondering if we have Iran. They have been hacking into DJT's emails. Well, they've been hacking into a lot of people's emails, but they've specifically been hacking into DJT's um, campaign emails, things like that. Uh, I think what we're going to find is th they are going to present evidence or there could be something coming out in the next 48 or to 72 hours from Iran that perhaps 
links DJT to this network. And it could be through parties or things that happened. It could tie into this to Diddy. Okay. Um, and I do think too, because this is going to pull in, I think it's going to pull in DJT. It's going to pull in this guy here and it's going to pull in Prince Andrew. I think that these are going to be the people because I feel like this right here, the success and you're fired. I feel like that's, you know who, um, this is royalty. And I do, I feel like there's going to be some, some connection here. And I feel like it, the information could come out through hackings. Okay. And I feel like this could actually be part of this too this whole drama acting. I feel like that's what this is talking about. So it'll be really interesting to see over the next 72 hours if anything comes out specific to that, to pulling Diddy in to that whole hidden network thing. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen with that. Okay, then going back to Iran, I think, you know, this is coming, this for them is a, this isn't just a war. This is, uh, this is fundamental. Okay. This is fundamental. And I think what we're going to see is we are going to see them attack. And I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be going after, we're going to see more civilian targets hit over the next 72 hours. It's going to be more homes, more neighborhoods, less military installations. And I do think that there's going to be something that's going to happen. Uh, well, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, with this pattern repetition, I mean, this, I think really just kind of goes back to this idea of this repetition and this pattern of this fighting that we've seen back and forth, you know, in, in the Middle East for, for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, thousands of years. And I'm wondering if there is going to be something that is released during this that has a chemical element. If that does not belong to this, I think we're going to continue to see issues with chemicals. Um, this can be Yes. Oh, we have, yes, doctor. Okay. I want to keep building this out because I'm wondering if this has to do with the, uh, what was happening. I think it was Illinois. Um, and then we have the East Palestine, uh, chemical spill in Ohio. Um, so I'm feeling like we're going to see some, something in the next 72 hours that has to do with like some kind of science that's kind of gone awry and people perhaps getting sick. We got physician doctor again. That's confirmation. Yes. Okay. We have military leader. Oh, that's way too many. Female actor. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take this out because I do feel like we're looking at something to do with what has happened. Okay. And remember we were talking about this, this card, the suit of swords, the eight of swords reverse. This is that feeling of being trapped, being, um, feeling confined, feeling restricted. I do think it's going to come, come in this. Okay. I feel like that is that situation. Um, we have female actor and we have North Korea and military leader, but I do want to go over here to the financial institution really quick and see what we can get for this piece. Okay. Let's see here. We'll just put this financial institution and the page of pentacles reverse. What is going on with the financial institutions? Let's see what we can get. Okay. Okay. And I just got a ringing in my ear, which usually means that some kind of like message is coming through. So I'm always really like aware when that happens. So just FYI. Okay. Well, that is not a pleasant thing. Get a few more cards. Let's see here. 
see what else we can get here. Okay. So taking a look at this predictive programming, demonic possession, we have manipulation, premeditated, directed energy weapon, exposed, depopulation. Okay. <clears throat> so something really interesting that we see a lot is we see these ideas of predictive programming. So what that basically means is that the media um, is complicit in basically deciding it's put forth like, okay, these are the themes that we're going to focus on. This is what we're going to look at. And so people are focused, their energy and their attention is focused in certain directions. And that's done on purpose. And it's to hide other things that are happening. So there is a situation going on right now that is, uh, it is something that's being masked through manipulation and predictive programming. This is something they're planning now. This is obviously completely premeditated. Um, when I was talking to you guys and I said, I have a ringing in my ear, I have a ringing in my ear. Okay, I don't know if you guys have heard of Havana Syndrome, but Havana Syndrome is this, um, It's they don't really know a lot about it, but there are people who have worked for, usually it's like the U.S. government um, or military, and they have had interac interactions with Russia. And these people have had these like weird anomalies where um, they feel this like intense pressure in their head or ringing and it's like super painful and they have, and then it just, they have issues forever going on with, with it, this Havana syndrome. And one of the questions is, is this something that has been developed? Is this a weapon that's been used um, to create this, this medical condition? Um, and I'm wondering if that has to, something has to do with the financial institution. So there's this idea that the financial institution that we have and that the dollar is losing its value and that we're in this like this tough situation and really what's going to happen or what's going to need to happen is a complete change in how we do our financial institution. Um, but that's a hard thing to do, right? Like that's a hard thing to, um, to completely redo when you've got billions of people. So there's some, you know, some, some stories out there if you want to put on your tinfoil hat that there is a major thing coming where they're going to have to, to basically overhaul the financial institutions. And some people talk about, would there be a depopulation event? Um, I don't think that there's going to be a depopulation event in the next 72 hours. I think we are all safe, but I'm wondering if this is having to do with conversations that are being had. So I'm wondering if decisions are being made right now that are going to impact us going forward. Remember, we were talking about decisions being made. Ooh, you guys, this is tying in. We were talking about decisions being made and the wrong decision being made. And I'm wondering if people are meeting and discussing, you know, there's all kinds of weird groups out there, um, secret groups, you know, secret societies, if you will. And they, I mean, look up um, the Bilderberg group. Look up the Bohemian Grove. There's just... There's so much darkness at work here, and I'm wondering if there's going to be decisions that are made to to do something with this, um, if that's what's happening. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. So there you have it for that. Okay. So that's what we're talking about for that. I don't think we're going to actually see the results of that in the next 72 hours, but I do think decisions are going to be made. Also, it's coming from this really dark place because I do want to throw these in there too. It's coming from a really, really bad, dark energy. I am not typically one who talks about dark energies because for me, I tend to focus on like the positive. I am very open energetically and I don't want to invite anything in that's not positive. So I, I tend to just stay away from these topics, but I do feel as if this is what's generating these bad decisions. 
And with this exposed, I just, I feel like we could find, we could find out some information. We could get some little tidbits of something, you know, you just never know. Okay. So we have military leader and North Korea and female actor. I want to go to this. I feel like this North Korea and military leader are together. I don't know what that false is for. Okay. So let's see what North Korea is up to, shall we? North Korea. What are you up to? School. Okay. Caught. School and caught. Let's see what else we have. Crossroad secret and we'll get a couple more natural causes they got it wrong okay so let's see here. So we have Crossroad. They got it wrong. Natural causes, secret, school, caught. Okay, I wonder if we're going to see something with North Korea with some kind of an accident in the next 72 hours. This is interesting. Or if a decision is going to be made, there's some secret and a decision is going to be made, but they got it wrong. It's the wrong decision. They were at a crossroad and they had the choice... A military leader of North Korea was at a crossroad, had a choice, but they made the wrong choice. They were trying to keep it a secret, but it caused, there's some kind of a, of a, um, a uh, cause and effect. Something happened. There was some kind of something that happened and they got caught. I'm not sure how the school fits into it. I feel like it, it does fit in some way. So this is interesting. I wonder what we're going to find out. You know, there's not a lot of news that's allowed out of North Korea. So this is something where I'm not even sure if we would um, even hear. But there's going to be a crossroads and they're going to make the wrong decision. They're going to try to hide it, but it's going to cause there's going to be some kind of a, a reaction to whatever the decision was and they're going to get caught. Someone's going to get caught. It could have, it could be something that affects a school. Um, but there's something, there's something there that's going to happen with that. Okay. Okay. Female actor. What do we have for our female actor? We're going to just kind of push these to the side. We have a female actor. What are we going to hear about a female actor? Okay. So we have change. We have flight risk. We have chemtrails. We have loyal. Hmm. Okay. Flight risk. A female actor who's loyal. but could potentially become a flight risk. Chemtrails, I feel like this is more of like a story, right? It's a uh, conspiracy theory, so it's like a story. So a female who is loyal is going to change her story. She's at risk of leading the situation. We might hear of a female actor coming forward in the next 72 hours, Um to give uh, uh, more information on the P. Diddy case. So there could be a female actor stepping forward that had been loyal to him and had kept the information they had to themselves, but they feel like it's time that they've had a change of heart and they need to tell the story. And so they're going to share their information. 
wouldn't that be interesting if somebody came forward in the next, you know, 72 hours to share more information about P. Diddy? Okay. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull these to the side and I'm just going to pull any last information, um, energy, just to see like what final things can we get. So any final energies for this solar, whoa, for the solar eclipse slash um, new moon that we have coming up tomorrow. What else is going on? What? Final little messages do you want for us, universe? Let's see here. What else can we get? Let's get. I feel like that's too many. I don't like it when they come out in a clump like that sometimes. It doesn't feel right to me. Any final information for us for this solar eclipse slash new moon that's happening tomorrow, October 2nd, 2024? Let's take this deck too. Any last final bits of information that you want us to have? You guys, there's the group I told you about. Remember I said decisions would be made. Decisions would be made from a group. Oh, hoo -hoo, you guys. Plot twist. Um, I have been saying that I think he is going to go out and Kamala is going to come in. I'm wondering if something is going to happen, if a decision is going to be made to where he needs to be brought out and they're going to put her in before the end of his term so that she would then be sworn in as president. I wonder if that's, so I've been getting, um, I've been getting that since I think August in my monthly prediction. So I've been getting that he is going to um, step down be incapacitated medically. Some something is going to happen where she is going to step in, um, and so I was feeling it was going to be August. It didn't happen. Then I was like, okay, maybe September. It didn't happen. So here we are, October. And I'm like, I just, I still feel we have a month. I could be wrong. I could. He could make it to. He could make it. But I just feel like it's not going to happen. I wonder if you know who is going to get elected, and then they're going to. But in the meantime, they're going to put Kamala in until. Um, so wouldn't that be interesting if Trump was elected, if he won the election on November 5th, but you know, Biden is still president until inauguration, January 20th. So what would happen if let's say November 6th or 10th or whatever, Biden becomes incapacitated and is no longer able to fulfill his role, then that would mean Kamala would be sworn in as president and then she would have to hand it over to Trump. Interesting. I am really, really wondering if that isn't um, what we're going to see here. I don't feel like he, this is going to happen to him, but I feel like this is representative of um, of the ending of life. Okay. So we have this portal 5D. So a lot of people have been talking about, um, a lot of spiritual leaders and astrologers and just different people have been talking about how the end of 2024 is when we're starting to shift into the 5D, that this is the portal. And we're going to see some people, you know, going through and some people staying back. Um, I do think that this is a confirmation that this eclipse is another part of that. It's another... Um, it's another step of the process of going through that that transition from the 3D into the 5D. Um, this can't confirm. I feel like this goes here. I really do. I feel like this could go either way. It's like my gut is saying, yeah, that's what's going to happen. But with that can't confirm, I do feel like it's it's going there. Okay. Okay, then we have this, we have male travel parental figure and debt. I'm wondering if there's going to be a 
money exchanging hands between male leaders in regards to uh, po uh, political um, aspirations or um, or something, I don't think it's going to be legal. But and I don't think it's going to happen in the U.S. I think they're going to travel, but there's going to be money that's exchanging hands, and it's going to be for nefarious reasons. With this, this is just I feel like it's confirming I. For some reason, I feel like it's, I almost got like um, this idea of handing off, you know, they're holding hands. It's, it's the older supporting the younger. I feel like this is just confirming that Kamala Joe, Kamala, you know, stepping in. I really, really feel that. Okay, you guys. So that is the energy that we have over the next um, 72 hours. I do feel like we're going to see some, a lot of destruction in Iran, Israel, I do feel like these are, there are bigger things happening here than we even understand. I think that there could be some decisions that are made with our financial institution over the next few days. Um, we might see something with the connection between um, Trump and you know who, you know, those, that ring of people. And I still feel like we might see something shifting with, with, with Joe. Okay, you guys, if you like these kinds of prediction videos, uh, please give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more of this kind of content. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. And once I do, we will do live readings for you guys. So I think that would be a lot of fun. If you're curious to know what decks I use, I link my website in the description box down below. Once you go to my website, you can see all of the different decks that I use. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.